What's up guys, this is the Samboy247 and I'm just showing you um, a little DIY way um, I helped prevent overheating on my Xbox 360. Uh, so, right here I have a old PC cooling fan or an old TV cooling fan, that's what I got it out of. You can get these pretty much anywhere, you can buy them on eBay, you know, they're in old computers, they're in old TVs, and then all you gotta do is strip the end and hook it up to a USB cable, like with the end, with the end being USB. Um, it's not too difficult, you know, you just put the red wire with the USB on the red wire, with the fan, and then black and black. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you have to tape each wire individually. I would have um, used solder, but I ran out. At the moment, that's how it is. Here's my Xbox 360. Um, basically, what you do is the catch is you plug the USB into the back of your Xbox so it's out of sight. Um, my Xbox isn't plugged into the wall at the moment, so when I do plug the USB in, it will not turn on the fan. But, um, after that, you just kind of set the fan on, whichever way the air blows out is the way you want to have. So the air, you know, sucks it out of, sucks the air out of the Xbox and kind of assists it in getting the air out. Um, and I've set this here, and the only issue with this setup is it keeps the fan running 24-7. Now this fan is a 12 volt DC fan, you know, but, um, I have it running at 5 volts because that's all the USB cable I have can, you know, can handle. So um, 5 volts is fine because it cools it and it keeps the, it keeps quiet. You know, 12 volts it would go, but um, at 5 volts you're running pretty good. So yeah, that's just how it looks. You can just set it on top. You can use electrical tape if you wanna tape it down and secure it a little more. But yeah, you just plug it into the back of your Xbox and it helps keep it cool. And I've even tested it. I've like, um, after I played my Xbox, I put my hand here to see how hot it was. And it was pretty hot, but after I put the fan on and I took the fan off and did it, it wasn't, it was not near as hot. It was nice and cool and this allows for longer gameplays without having to stop and take breaks because I do not want to get the red ring, so I try my best to make something up, and it's working pretty well. So if you guys want to make one, you can. Uh, you can use different USB cables. Um, you can use different things. I'm just trying to look for a different one I have in my junk drawer, but apparently it's missing something. But you can use different size fans, but something tall like this is kind of better because it kind of pushes more air through. If you have a tiny thin one, it might help a little bit, but you basically just want to cover up um, this little uh, circle here, this little vent, because like, this isn't actually bent, because it's such an odd shape. Uh, only like this spot right here, is bent. that's not a vent, so you don't need a fan that covers up there. Um, so that's basically it though, guys. If you want to make one, go do it. It, it greatly improves your Xbox performance by like not overheating helped me so much um, yeah so please comment like this video if it helped you out and subscribe